Hey YouTube, uh, Ramberto here with uh, part four of uh, overclocking your laptop for dummies. Um, this is the part where we actually get to see if it worked or not. Um, as you can see, I've already got Battlefield 4 up and running. Um, and this is at stock speeds. I reset the laptop and when you do that, AMD overdrive resets so your laptop goes back to its stock settings. Um, so this is with the stock, uh, the stock GPU clock of um, 654. And as you can see, you know, this is kind of, it's away from the battle. There's not much going on. I wanted to come over here so um, we don't get killed while we're trying to do all this stuff. Um, as you can see right here, it's running at 34, 30 frames per second. Um, that's just with stock speeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and open up the AMD overdrive. Okay. And this is just like uh, we did in the uh, videos 1, 2, and 3. Um, this is just a part to see if it actually works. I guess there's a bit of confusion. Some people are trying it out there, and they're saying they're messing with the um, clock voltages on the GPU, and it's not doing anything for their performance. And this is just to prove that it does work. So as you can see right here where my mouse cursor is, the target speed is 654, that's the stock settings for this laptop. And over here you can see the current speed. That's the load under the GPU, okay? And then um, if we go up to GPU status, we can see the temps of the GPU. Uh, the GPU currently is about 71 uh, degrees Celsius. Um, and the clock speeds are going up and down just because it's not locked on anything. Um, it's just, it's trying to keep up with the game. So. And keep in mind, when you do overclock, that the um, consistent Celsius, the consistent temps with the 7640G for me playing Battlefield 3 is usually 89 or, or 90. Um, and, and that's pretty hot um, for a laptop. That's, that's pretty much the max that you want to be at. Um, again, I don't recommend overclocking your laptop for every single game. Um, I just like overclocking it for Battlefield because um, I, I do get... Um, performance increases with it and um, this is uh, the battlefield settings that I'm playing with are on the just the stock medium settings at the um, 1280 by 768 resolution so let me go back into clock voltages and just like in our other videos we're just gonna go ahead and move this slider forward um, and I'm gonna move it to 1150 which is the sweet spot for this uh, laptop. Okay, 11.50. Now, keep an eye on the um, uh, frame rates per second. Um, we're at 32 right now, 33. I don't know if you can see that up there by my mouse cursor. And uh, sorry if I'm not recording this on Bandicam or, or Fraps, but I tried to yesterday and it just killed the frame rates. I mean, Battlefield was like at eight frames per second. So on this laptop, I don't think that's gonna be possible. But keep in mind where my mouse cursor is right now, um, the frame rates are about uh, 30, 32. I guess we got a helicopter flying around right now, so they're dropping down to about 28, but it's perfectly playable though. Um, so go ahead and we're gonna hit apply and it's gonna bring up this message here, hit okay. And there you go. Now our clock speeds are up at 35, 36, you know. And you're not going to jump up like 10 frames per second by doing this. Um, now we're going to move it up to the max at 1300 um, megahertz for the clock speed where my mouse cursor is. And I'm going to go hit and hit apply again. Okay. And now we're at about 36, 37. Looks like it's trying to push 38 frames. And it does dip down when an explosion happens or something like that, but it's for a microsecond. It's perfectly playable. Now here's the big kicker. I want you guys to notice this. With the mouse cursor, I'm going to move the slider all the way down to 300. 300 megahertz, okay? So I'm going to underclock the graphics card and go ahead and hit apply. And our frame rates 
drop down to eh, about 23. And when I did that, they dropped down to 18. But So, I mean, it, it does have an effect. And we're going to go back up here to 13 and hit apply. And we're back up at like 37, 38, 39 now. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, minimize this, minimize this. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the options. Let's get some gameplay going. Video, there's a resolution. There's the settings for Battlefield. Um, video, I'm going to go to full screen on, back, resume. Okay. Now let's get some gameplay going. Let's jump in one of these tanks over here. And the graphics are on medium, and um, it looks pretty good. So, and this is an update from my other Battlefield video. Um, lo and behold, on my other video, um, I didn't have any of the updates for Battlefield installed. I didn't know that. This isn't like the console version where as soon as you load it, it says, hey, you know, would you like to update Battlefield? I, I guess you have to figure that out manually in the forums. Um, and as you can see, Battlefield's still glitchy, man. I mean, on the PC, it's just... There's days to where it's almost unplayable. And... I mean, it could be my internet. Um, I'm playing on Wi-Fi. But... Yeah, or it could be uh, the server. Um, but I'm going to try to get into another server and show you guys some better gameplay. Um, it was playing pretty smooth yesterday, so... This is probably just this guy's server. So anyway, guys, just wanted to uh, give that last bit, that last video on does this actually work or not, okay? All right, hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys out with overclocking your laptop. And uh, let me see if I can blow up this helicopter real quick before he blows up me. Where's he at? Can't even see him. Anyway, there you go. A burning pile of crap. And uh, we'll see you guys in our next videos. Hope this uh, helped you guys out a lot. And um, hope you have fun with your laptop. Alright, thanks a lot for watching, guys.